All right, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Guys, I'm sorry about Sunday night charts tonight, but we made a trip here to Missouri. We're living in misery today. Uh, visiting my daughter, who uh, is uh, living out here as well. Anyway, we made a 10 hour trip today. Actually, it was more like 12 the time we got here. But anyway. Didn't have time to do my Sunday night charts tonight. I thought I would, but we're going to go ahead and do a video here and get you an update. All right, don't forget this isn't financial advice. Just showing you the way I look at the market through an Elliott Wave lens, guys. All right, let's zoom out. Look at the uh, 12 hour chart just to kind of get some perspective here. I'm on my laptop as well, so I got a smaller screen. Um, but the first thing I want to notice is that we're we're not really uh, we're not really at an area of key price support. Okay, uh, we're not really at a place where uh, price is supported very well. Yes, we came down to the and and have bounced here at the twenty thousand uh, dollar all time all time high of two thousand seventeen. Yes. But remember, uh, price generally doesn't find support on the peaks. It'll find support on the valleys. Okay, that's that's the first thing I want to remind you of. Spent some time talking about that last week. Okay, much greater support here around four thousand dollars. The six thousand dollar range is a monster support range. That's a big deal. That area right there. I'm expecting price to make its way on down there. Um, as as price moves now the question is how is it going to get down there how is it going to go down there i believe price is coming down to this range okay i think six thousand dollars is probably on the table guys i know a lot of you are having a hard time believing that i know a lot of you have capitulated to the idea yeah it'll probably go down there but maybe twelve thousand you know maybe maybe fifteen thousand you, you've given up to that much but you're having a hard time seeing you know you know six thousand dollars on the table but the matter, the fact of the matter is, it most likely is going to find its way down there. Okay, that's point number one from just a basic support resistance. Uh, that's something I would have highlighted here in, in the Sunday night charts. Okay, what else here? What else? Well, doesn't mean we're going to go straight there. In fact, we could bounce here. We we could totally bounce here. Um, we have a move to the upside here, right there. We've got to move to the downside. We could get another move to the upside, like a wave three, you know, some kind of a three-wave move here, something, something like that before we before we go down. That's a possibility. Uh, or we we may just be trending on to the downside now. Now uh, that's the part that's hard to tell. We just got to trade it, uh, trade it, you know, wave by wave as the waves come. We just take them in stride, and we look what the data is telling us. Uh, you know, at, on each wave. So let's zoom in here. Let's see if we can look at this particular wave and say, okay, what is this and what is it likely doing? My guess, my guess is that this is a C wave of some kind and we've got a one, two. This is three, that's four. We're in the middle of a fifth wave. Okay, the fifth wave has begun. We already have a one, two put in uh, and then we're, we're, we've begun the third wave to the downside. So let's zoom in and look at that. That's my primary bias. I'll show you another count as possibility as well. All right, so let's zoom in here to the one-hour chart. Let's look at the just the fifth wave here, the, what I've marked as wave five here. So this is the wave five. You, you can see here that we've got a five-wave move off the top. Let me get rid of this larger screen there. There we go. We'll delete that. There we go. I'm on my laptop, so I'm a little bit more clumsy right now. It is late, and I'm tired, so I'm doing my best here to get you guys some information. Hope that's okay. So we're going to say three, four. Um, we're going to put five right there. There's a five-wave impulse off the top or off the top of that correction. Now what do we got? We've got what I see is a flat correction, okay? Got a flat correction. So there's a one and a wave two, and that flat correction came back. Uh, let's see how far did it come back it came back almost to the golden zone guys it almost reached the golden zone just barely missed it but 
uh, it's good enough for me. Anywhere between the 50 and the 618 is a fine place for that wave to come back to. Now, what do we've got going on? Well, we've got another impulse wave. All right. So we've got uh, we've got an impulse. This is this is five waves. This was the fifth wave, the best I can tell. This is the fifth wave of a five a five wave move down. Now, this is where it gets challenging right here. Okay. So where it gets challenging. Why? Because you know that wave structure is super super sketch, super challenging. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on that and say, what is it? Well, first off, what I believe it is, is we're getting a, a, a three-wave move of some kind, okay? We're getting some kind of a three-wave move here. We've got a real complex wave going on. We're going to look and see what that could be, okay? But I think we're going to get a move back to the upside, taking out this liquidity before we go down. Now, do we have to do that? No, we don't have to do that. But I believe that's probably what's going to, going to happen. This is going to develop and finish to the downside and it could even break this low and then come on up here to the upside now how that plays we're getting ready to look at that in just a moment okay but that's what i think just that this is a th some kind of a three wave move it's consolidating in a in a complex wave b okay it's still playing out still working on wave b and uh and then we're looking for uh wave c to finish later on okay so when you get a spike to the upside, more than likely, that's going to be a wave C. It's going to take out this liquidity. It might even get to the 618 retrace of this wave. And what you're going to have is a 1, a 2, and then you're going to have a 1 and a 2. Okay, and then you might get another 1, 2, 1, 2 before, before it really starts falling down. Okay, uh, so that's the way I'm looking at that wave. Okay, so let, let's zoom in and look at this wave structure, see if we can come away with any kind of, uh, you know, ideas here okay let's let's identify the fives and threes that's what we do as elioticians we identify the fives and threes and we see what we can see now one thing i know is that i'm going to zoom in right here on this wave to the downside right there you see that wave right there this was the news this was the fomc news okay that's a three wave move okay that's three waves it was a beautiful trade for us in our discord beautiful trade okay and then this this long was a beautiful trade to the upside uh, it didn't quite go up as high as I wanted it to go. I was expecting it to, uh, to get up here, but uh, no, they're making it a lot more complex. So what can we say then? What can we say if that's three waves? We know that's three, so how can we look at this wave uh, in any, any, any way that makes sense if it's three waves? Okay? All right, let me, let me do my very best to help you. Okay? All right, first off, we may have, we're going to call this three waves to there. Now, this to me is five waves here. And that's important to identify before we go any further because I'm looking at that as a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm looking at that as five. Now, what's interesting is that I'm looking at this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm looking at this wave as five as well. So I'm looking at this as one, two, three, four, five as well. So that's interesting. Why is that interesting, Jim? Well, because... Um, you know, you've got a five-wave move. You expect a three-wave pullback and a continuation, but we got a five-wave move instead. It's making me think that we're probably going to get um, some kind of three-wave move to the downside. Now, what's happening here, I was expecting five waves to the downside. Um, I'm, I'm a little, little, little leery of that at this stage, uh, th whether we're going to get that or not. I think... I think potentially, uh, this is where it gets super challenging, guys, and, and it's going to be hard to follow me, so do the best you can here. So I'm, I'm looking at this as three waves to the upside. I see this as a potential three waves to the downside. Now, I've got another count for that as well, but right now, let's just look at this three waves. I was wanting to see five waves, to be honest with you, much like this. I was looking to see if we got a zigzag here, but we, we, we're getting three here in the middle, okay? So I want to see if we're going to get another five-wave move to the upside like that. If we get a, we're going to move up like that. If we do, that's going to be a flat, and that's going to be a B wave. Now this is where it gets complicated. Okay, so we might have a, a five, a three, and then a five. Okay, now we're going to go back. We're going to go back here, and we're going to look at this structure as a flat. Okay, we're going to look at this as an A, 3, 3, 5. All right? So what you'd have then is 
is in ABC. There's a, there's a running flat. Then we've got another three wave move that has not finished. Okay, so we want to see this finish, and that would be three down, retesting the low. And then I would expect if this is a flat, that this is going to become an A wave, the first running flat, then the B wave, and then we look for C. And that that's a plausible idea here among many ideas that we could have here but that gets us back up here okay to the liquidity zone taking out this liquidity um, we got a complex wave um, being made here all right so that that's 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 a plausible idea now I could probably give you three other ideas for that so here's the deal here's the deal unless you unless you're familiar with Elliot and you know how to look at these complex waves and, and, and trade them as they're being made looking at the RSI um, you really this is a, this is a very difficult area to be traded because you're gonna get a lot of up and down, a lot of up and down. Okay, all right. I probably, I if I get if I get a spike tonight, I'm gonna look for five waves and I'm gonna look for potential down move. Okay, that's gonna be spiked later on. Okay, that's that's the way I'm thinking right now. But but here's what you're really looking for as a trader, in my opinion. You're looking for this three-wave move to finish, and you want to see the spike up to the upside, taking out this liquidity zone. Okay, you see there are a bunch of there are a bunch of long orders up here. There's a bunch of long orders all layered in here. You say how there are a bunch of long orders? Well, you got breakout traders who, who you know traders that say, hey, this breaks out of this range, I'm going to go long. You got breakout traders up there, so that's. You got people adding to their long positions. There are some people that went long from down here, down here in this range, and they'll add to their position as it goes up. Okay, and then there's people uh, that that went short uh, in these ranges here. They're looking for a down move. Okay, and their stops are here. Their long, their stops for their shorts are here and here. Okay, in these ranges and in, in these price zones here. So there's a bunch of long orders. That means there's liquidity there. Okay, and the market makers will probably go or those with the uh, power to move the market they'll probably go to snag the liquidity so I wouldn't be surprised to see a move to the upside at some point okay it might take a little bit to set up okay it might take a little bit to set up in fact it may go up here and reject again come back down here to the lows reject again and then we take the liquidity out and then we then we that's the signal that we go down after that so that's the way I'm thinking about the market in a very simple way, guys. I am bearish. I am bearish. Um, and I, I'm looking for more downside. Okay, that's my, that's my primary idea. And I, I think it's, I had somebody, you know, comment on my channel on one of my videos. He said something to the effect of, that's one thing I don't like about you, Jim. You never take a stance. Um, I, I, I don't know how to take any stronger stance than what I just did. Usually I'll tell you what my bias is, what my favorite count is. But I always let you know that I'm prepared to be wrong and you need to be prepared for me to be wrong. And that's something you need to know about. That good traders know that the market has can do anything it wants to, whatever it wants to. And that we're ready to be wrong and to take a different trade and trade a different direction if, uh, if, if price moves in a way that you don't expect. So this is an idea I'm presenting to you. I, I don't know if it's going to play 100%, but it's a plausible idea based on Elliott Wave structures. And those of you studying Elliott say, yeah, yeah, that is a plausible count. Uh, whether it plays or not, that's a completely different story, right? Completely different story. So I don't know if that's a fact, but overall, what we're looking for here on the on the on the one hour chart, you know, is, is a move back to the upside. Once uh, once this thing finishes up in here, I'm looking for a move back up to collect, collect the liquidity here, 50 to 60 percent of the previous down move. Okay, and that's going to create a one two one two to the downside. All right, what are some other ideas here? Uh, are there any other possible ideas? Well, I mean, yes, there 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 are. Let's look at them. Let's look at them a little bit carefully here. All right. So, if we get a more complex, uh, if we get a more complex correction, okay. Um, you've got you've got this as an A wave. Okay. Now the B wave could be five, three, and this could be five. It's truncated. It's not very deep. I don't like it. There's a lot about it I don't like. There you go. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this count, but hey, there's there's three waves. Um, you might you might be arguing this is wave four that we're in. We're going to get a wave five, 
and then you get a C wave to the upside. Not a big fan of that count, to be honest with you. I think this is probably going to just come on down. But there's a possible idea for you. Um, what else could it be? I, I mean, could this be a reversal, and this is a three-wave move to the downside? Yeah, as long as we get a three-wave move, as long as we get a three-wave move that does not break this low, we could get a reversal out of this and then a move to the upside. I, I, I just don't think that's going to play, but... Who, who, what, do, what do I know? Uh, who am I to say whether it's going to play or not? So, all right, guys. Well, there's some ideas for you. You've seen you've seen my major uh, my major ideas that I've shared right here. Looking for a move to the upside to take out this liquidity before down. But you know, you never know. It could it could just roll on over and go on down. Uh, let's look at the news this week. The news coming out. Uh, later on this week, I think we have F. Uh, do we have uh, N NFP this weekend? Is that Friday? It's core P core piece. No, nope, NFP is not this week. I thought it was. I thought it was. NFP must be next week. So we'll have uh, non farm uh, next week. So. Uh, looks like we got Fed Chair Powell speaking later on this week on Wednesday. Um, so that'll be a volatile day, an important day to pay attention to. Uh, let's see, Tuesday we've got DXY, we got Fed Chair Powell speaking again. I guess there's a conference going on that they're speaking, uh, speaking about, so speaking at, so. Yeah, there's going to be some little bit of volatility this week, depending on what they say. So, And it's also the end of the month, last last week of the month. So more than likely, sideways action like I've shared in prep for a, a down move uh, the first part of August, uh, October. excuse me. So, All right, there are my ideas very simply, very quickly for you. Hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Guys, thanks for understanding. I'll see if I can bring some more videos this week and uh, update you tomorrow. Um, I, you know, I, I've been wanting to make more videos lately. I've just been a lot, lot going on with my family, uh, and in my world. So, uh, we're always going to keep striving to do better at getting more content out to you. But, uh, uh, hopefully this week will be one of those weeks, but you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by the channel. We will catch you on the flip side, uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.